Well, hey, y'all. Welcome to an Imperial Stout Saturday on Uncle Bub's Bell Buckle Beer Views. Got a brew for you today uh, from the Founders Brewing Company. And uh, Brown, Founders is out of, what are they out of? Uh, Comstock, Michigan, I think. Grand Rapids. Damn it, I always get it. <laughs> always get them and, and another one confused this is Grand Rapids Michigan's Founders Brewing Company but uh, I have seen this brew online um, my buddy Ronald J Terrio did it not too long ago and I, I hesitated in watching it because I had it and I wanted to do it uh, it's a Founders KBS chocolate espresso Imperial Stout aged in bourbon barrels at a 12% ABV. All right, so it says on here, for decades, chocolate, coffee, and bourbon barrels have been creating delicious masterpieces. Immerse yourself with KBS Chocolate Espresso, our latest creation highlighting our favorite ingredients that have set the barrel aging standard. The symphony of rich chocolate and bold espresso flavors harmonize with notes of oak and a touch of vanilla for an unrivaled sit well it's I can't read it since since experience I guess is what it says this was bottled on May the 30th of 2024 so it's only it's a May June July August September it's only about four months old um, However, it is a 12% ABV. This is part of their Barrel Age series from Founders. I have been tickled to death with all of Founders brews. Um, the only one that I found a little off-putting was the Masagave, uh, and it was just a little bit too sour for me. Um, but I gave, I, I bought this in a single. I gave seven bucks for the single, um, and it was worth it. I have no doubt that it's worth it. I mean, KBS, Founders, uh, just they just do a fantastic job with all their brews, and I just love Founders. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to try this Founders KBS Chocolate Espresso Imperial Stout today on an Imperial Stout Saturday. Pop this thing open. And on the inside of the bottle cap, it says Barrel Age Series y'all can read that barrel age series from founders brewing company grand rapids michigan not comstock i don't know where i come up with that i think it maybe bales brewery somewhere some another brewery is from comstock comstock michigan and i always get it wrong when i, when I get a founders all right so let's look at this uh, burnt motor oil dark brew that's come come out of here i don't know if i can get a head on or not let's try Yeah, got some reverse cascading going on there. No, oh man, beautiful. <laughs> oh, I can't see I can't see any light through it at all. Looking at the sun, I can't see nothing through it. <sighs> so for for a bourbon barrel aged. I'm getting just a whiff of the bourbon. Oh, but mostly I'm getting a, a like a dark chocolate. Oh man, that smells heavenly. It smells like a, 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 a <clears throat> dark chocolate, mild bourbon aroma coming off of it. Man, it just smells wonderful. Got a little bit left in the bottom of it. Let's swish it. Pour it off in here. Well, ain't nothing in the bottom of it now. If there was anything, there ain't now. But look at that. <laughs> uh, Y'all, I, back when I, for, before I started doing these videos, a little over five years ago, Going on six, I mean, I've been doing these for almost six years now, going on six years. 
before I started doing these, I just did not care anything about stouts. I didn't care anything about dark beer. You know, just y'all can have that shit. I didn't care nothing about it. But when I started experimenting and trying different beers, I found that stouts are just some of the most versatile. To me, uh, a stout, a dark beer, you know, like this, have some of the most unique, rich, robust, delicious flavors of any other beer you will ever try, in my opinion. Um, and especially when you get into the bourbon barrel age stuff, man, they that really throws another uh, aspect into the, the experience of the brew. Let's get a taste of this head before I yak it away. Wow, just a hint of the bourbon flavor in the head, but mostly a dark chocolate. And and when I say dark chocolate, I mean like a dark chocolate that's got that bitterness. You know, the bitter, good, bitter dark chocolate. Man, dead gummit, that's good. Mmm. I about let it get away from me. That's freaking delicious, y'all. Just a hint of the bourbon but mostly dark chocolate and I love dark chocolate y'all the y'all seen these these dark chocolate bars they got at Walmart hell they're expensive but they're they're what they call cacao or whatever and they got you know the the 90 percent the 85 percent and all this and they have them with sea salt and all this other kind of shit I love those and, and the thing about it is that's it's that gummy get off me fly um they've got a good bitterness to them I love bitterness Especially, I love bitterness in beer, um, but those dark chocolates have a bitterness to them, man, that I really love. And, you know, some people don't like them, and that's okay, but uh, this has that, that kind of quality. The, the flavor in the head does. Mm, it's delicious, so I can't wait to try the body of it. <laughs> now, this Founders KBS Chocolate Espresso at a 12% ABV, this is for all American workers. Hey, brothers and sisters, thank you for the hard work that you do to provide for yourselves and your families and pay your own way and not depending on our damn government, just like I do. I work hard to provide for myself and my family. I know y'all do too. Thank you for what you do because America don't roll and move without us. I love and appreciate y'all. Cheers, brothers and sisters. Man, that is freaking delicious. Dad gummit. All right, so <clears throat> a beer like this, in my opinion, is best enjoyed. Uh, this is just my thoughts on it, y'all. I, but I, this would be perfect as a dessert. You've had a heavy, a delicious heavy meal, a steak and, and a baked potato. Uh, shrimp, lobster, you know, something like that. A good, hearty, heavy meal. Um, and, and finish it up with this right here at 12% ABV. Because this is just like a dessert, man. It, 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 it's rich. It's, it's, uh, it's robust. The, the bourbon flavor is not overbearing. I mean, it's there, but it's not overbearing. That gummy flies are driving me nuts, y'all. I'm out here in my shorts. <laughs> The, the, the bourbon flavor is there, but it's not overbearing, but you get, you're getting that chocolate. Man, that chocolate that's coming through there. Uh, I, all right, so be honest with you, I don't know what the hell espresso tastes like. I don't know anything about espresso. You know, I'm a black coffee drinker. I'm not into the, all that weird bullshit from Starbucks and all that crap. Just give me my black coffee in the morning, I'm good. Um, I ain't paying no $5 for coffee. If you pay $5 for coffee, frankly, you're a dumbass. I don't care. If you pay $5 for coffee, you're stupid. <laughs> I don't give a damn what it tastes like. Paying $5 for no damn coffee. Idiots. And Starbucks, fuck them anyway. 
commie bastards. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know what espresso is supposed to taste like, but this right here is like a dessert. That chocolate, that dark chocolate bitterness, and, and, and just that, that little touch of bourbon in the finish, man, dad gummit. This is good. This is I'm gonna score this on an A, a high A. Um, really close to an A plus for me, y'all. This is this is delicious stuff. Uh, so there you go. That's that's what I've got for you today. KBS Chocolate Espresso Imperial Stout at a 12% ABV from Founders Brewing Company out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. Give this a shot if you ain't never. It's good stuff. Now, it's expensive. You you expect to pay, I don't know, you might pay $20 for a four-pack of it. You may pay more than that. You may pay $25 for a four-pack of it. I don't care. Um, get out of here, dead gummit. <sighs> Stupid flies. Get out of here. It's worth it. If, if, if you know how to enjoy a stout, you will like this. All right, y'all, that's been an Imperial Stout Saturday today on Uncle Bo's Bale Buckle Beer Reviews. I'll be back next week. Love and appreciate y'all. Y'all stay tuned. Take care. Cheers. This is definitely a, a sip and savor more than a chugger, for sure.